What's up everyone? So RevGT about two days ago released a Surgeon Fish video called the Forgotten Tier 3 in which he barely used the Surgeon Fish and uh, of course after watching that I was kind of displeased with the exposure that the Surgeon Fish got. Thankfully one day later Grounded actually released a video of his own called the Remembered Surgeon Fish in which he actually got a 5 of a kind in the golden pack with the surgeon fish but I thought like one of them just makes too little of the surgeon fish the, the other one makes too much of the surgeon fish so in this video I'll try to just use a moderate amount of the surgeon fish something that I guess some of you may relate to it because surgeon fish in the mid game is a pretty good pet honestly but it falls off very hard so I think most of us just have one surgeon fish that sticks until the end of the run and maybe it's level 3, maybe it's started up, something like that. So this is what we'll be going for. The idea I had for this build is actually to have a flea, as you can see I already have one on the team and uh, it's going to apply weakness to the enemies and uh, when the surgeon fish buffs the HP of the allied pets I think it's going to be pretty strong and uh, other than that I guess we want the surgeon fish to buff something that uh, really likes attacking a lot or staying alive so I think we'll use a silver fox for that purpose and other than that we can do a number of tier 6 pets for the final slot maybe we can do a uh, cobra because that uh, enjoys uh, having a healthy unit in front of it maybe we can do a grizzly bear because a lot of attacks are going to happen most likely but uh, yeah those are all tier 6 so we do have time to think about that in the future for now we just uh, focus on survival and you can see we achieve that by taking a sea lion and the slug. I think slug has pretty nice synergy with the uh, flea because of the weakness. Yeah, you can see there the two smaller slugs actually take out the strongest enemy unit there, which is what you like to see. I pass up a surgeon fish here because it's not its time to shine yet. I've had a lot of attempts where I tried to include the surgeon fish early and it just doesn't work out even though it's supposed to be a mid game superstar I did have some trouble getting it to work. So yeah we pass it up for now but we will take it later don't you worry. We're going to look for a level on the flea right here and if we level up into a silver fox that will be just ideal especially with the sea lion on the team to buff its HP. I actually might take this surgeon fish now, yeah I free up some space for it because we have a little bit of scaling on the team and we have the two trumpets as well. Thankfully we do level into the silver fox so we will include that next turn. For now let's see how we do here, uh, kinda scary but uh, thankfully the mat was just perfect. And uh, do we win here? We actually draw, even though with perfect math we were not able to win there. So this should tell you that the team isn't looking super strong right now. And I think we downgraded a little bit by selling the Silk mod in favor of the Silver Fox. That's less stats overall, but let's see if we win. We had perfect math right here and you can see the combo in action, the silver fox I believe attacked 3 times there so this is exactly what we want to have happen. We even take a level right here and it is into something that is useless for the team which is unfortunate but the other level up is a grizzly and a bird of paradise both of which can have some pretty good synergy with the team. So we take the bird of paradise, of course we are going to be generating tons of gold. This is actually another problem that I had with Diran, you can see we get uh, egg planted quite a bit and because the surgeon fish is in the second position and the flea needs to die in order to generate the trumpets, we actually don't do so well. I think we might... Uh, transition into something that generates trumpets at the start of battle for that reason as you can see that uh, happening once again but uh, thankfully even without the extra HP the uh, silver fox is still getting double triggers per turn which is very nice it's going to get us a lot of scaling 
and uh, with us buying avocados in every shop phase as well, it's super nice. Yep, we take a uh, pita bread here. Uh, there was a thingy on offer, a Highland cow, which I was considering taking for a second because of the trumpets, but I thought I should maybe scale up a little bit as we get egg planted for the third time in a row. Super unfortunate. Thankfully we still get the triple trigger on the silver fox so we didn't miss out on much. But uh, yeah, eventually I think I will transition into a highland cow because uh, getting egg planted so many times in a row is just so frustrating so we say goodbye to the sea lion. And uh, it's also nice that this lets us trigger the ability of the surgeon fish more than once per turn because the uh, cherry only generates two trumpets so when those two trumpets are used up this uh, surgeon fish can't really trigger its ability anymore but when you have a 19 hp highland cow you will surely have more than two trumpets on the team and uh, yeah we can see that in action we can trigger the ability three three times i think it was we could have even triggered it another time there but you can see the hp there was super nice to have we trigger the silver fox, I believe that was three times. And uh, the run just basically plays itself, I think. We just level up stuff and buy proper equipment. We don't even need the cherry on the flea anymore. We can instead take a pita bread or something, or the new durian like I have on the surgeon fish. We get egg planted once again, but it doesn't really matter. It actually works to our benefit because we get to have the silver fox in a more front position. So we did get double triggers there. And uh, other than that, I guess the only thing I want from this one is to get the uh, surgeon fish up to level three by the end of it, which I think is highly likely. I won't be pumping chocolates into it because I think chocolates can be used for more useful stuff like getting the highland cow up to level 3 so now we are getting 32 trumpets from its ability super nice uh, will we get to trigger the ability of the silver fox here is the question and uh, i guess it's it's highly likely that we won't but we actually trigger it at least once so that's two gold gained and you can see this is the problem with the surgeon fish in the late game we actually have a lot of HP already and we don't really need the access, especially when we don't get sniped in the middle of battle, so we don't really care about replenishing any missing HP. So I don't think Surgeon Fish in Golden Pack is the strongest late game option, but you can see it actually works out pretty nicely here. We will get double trigger from the Silver Fox, so that's nice. And that we keep winning is uh, an extra bonus, honestly, because like if we will, if we lose, you are obviously going to lose the run. And I think it took like, uh, I think it might have been around 30 attempts to make a proper surgeon fish build that got to level three. You can see I just did that here, and I don't really think the flea needs any leveling up. I just think like maybe we buy uh, pretzels and stuff and uh, just hope that our stats are good enough to win you can see they're actually so good that we don't even get to attack with the silver fox and uh, i really wanted to repos reposition it this time but i thought it would ruin the synergy that i was originally going for yep we put a potato on the bird of paradise there in order to prevent any tomato snipes let's see if the silver fox gets to trigger this battle though Thankfully we have a lot of HP so we don't really have to worry about the Cobra Snipes and the Silver Fox actually triggers a little bit. So yeah this is going to be the final turn, we are going to replace the Durian with a Pita Bread and uh, we are going to scale up some uh, more for the final fight. But other than that I really uh, hope you enjoyed this average video of the Surgeon Fish and if you did I hope that you like, sub do all the generic stuff and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.